Alright, this is just going to be a quick video showing you how to get rust off your tools. Um, some of you may have a little bit of surface rust, or your tools may be covered in them. Um, like that. I know you can go buy a ball peen hammer for $16, but this is just a new new hobby I kind of came into. And uh, basically, it'll go from the bottom one looking to something like this, as you can see. Let's zoom in there. And um, what you want to do is you want to go to your grocery store or wherever you shop at and you want to get a gallon jug of distilled vinegar and uh, distilled white vinegar. And you want to get a Tupperware container. This is from having um, a hammerhead sit in it. That's just, it went from clear to basically all debris and rust color. And uh, this was already soaked. I'm waiting to... Uh, to put, take this to the bench grinder and what, what you do is you just uh, fill that with fresh uh, distilled vinegar you drop it in there make sure it's fully uh, submerged and you want to let it sit in there for about 24 hours then once it's done you want to wipe it down with a paper towel to where it's dry and um, you can either start with a hand wire brush steel wire brush or you can go to a bench grinder this is a six inch um, coarse um, wire wheel. It's not the best one. It does the job though. I paid like seven dollars at Home Depot. I don't really care. Um, here's another thing I just did. You have a, it's a four pound sludge hammer that it was in my garage just completely demolished by rust. But um, they were all the same color as that and I also have a and I think they pronounce it an S-wing or East-wing. I don't ever really care. E-S-T-W-I-N-G hammer. They're, they make great hammers. They're all made in America. They're hammers. And this I found in the back of my garage. Um, just some, like completely. It was just getting water on it constantly. And you can see uh, I didn't even soak the shaft in it. I just soaked the uh, the head. As you can see it's starting to starting to peel off there. It's already, it, just, it just flakes off that easily when you soak it. But this I just took to um, a bench grinder. And that I had uh, submerged like that, just standing up overnight, just so it loosens up all that rust on the head. And uh, a couple quick tips when you're working with removing rust and refinishing uh, surfaces. When you're using a bench grinder, you want to always, always, I can't reinstate this enough, wear some sort of gloves, leather gloves. These were... $1.90 at Home Depot. They're the cheapest gloves they have and they held up. My finger went across it, hit the hit the wire wheel a couple times and if I wasn't wearing these gloves I probably wouldn't have a nail on my index finger. Um, and also um, trial and error with me uh, I didn't use these, but I went out and bought them for when I do uh, do this again, because I am in, I am inside I'm in my basement doing it. And um, you want to get some 3M. Well, it doesn't really matter the brand. Just make sure it just says uh, where is it at for grinding, uh, sanding, N95 approved masks. These are like four dollars at Walmart. You get two of them because the first night I did it. Um, I wasn't wearing a mask and I was I did this. I worked on the sludge hammer, completely did them too. And also did did the shaft to this a little bit in the head. And I wasn't wearing a mask and I have really bad sinus issues. And uh so I went upstairs and I kind of this is the first time I remembered to flush out my sinuses. Cause I mean if you get debris and dust it can lead to an infection if you suffer from that. Um, my sympathies with you because it's not fun and the amount of I mean just clumps that were probably the size of a quarter that were going into the sink of just rust and dust um, I'm probably gonna have cancer in the next 10 years so my my sacrifices are for you the YouTube viewers I'm, I'm joking but um just uh, make sure you wear a mask please you don't want to be inhaling this stuff and also gloves and again, you just uh, you want to let this sit in here for 24 hours. You want to submerge it in, in distilled vinegar completely. And um, also, 
when you're working with this and these two combined, um, do not do this barehanded. When you take it out of there, either use a pair of pliers or get some uh, latex gloves because I'm going to try to show you. If you can see that patch, it's like a pinkish skin. That's a chemical burn. And um, I have no hair there. It's very dry and it was very painful. That is from you bare handing, getting distilled vinegar mixed with rust and whatever other materials were on this, covered in this, and just burning my skin. And it's not fun. So make sure you wear gloves and just wear all the protective eyewear, of course, when you're using a bench grinder because when you have this type of wheel, it's not, it's not a braided wire wheel. Um, these, these go flying like arrows. They go flying everywhere. So you want to make sure you wear um, safety glasses and use gloves. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, just uh, down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, subscribe. I appreciate that uh, very much. And uh, thanks for watching.